Huh? You? Who? Who said we can't? When? Then who? Who said we can't? Yesterday. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. Roll up my sleeves, fold pants to knees, and dance my way into history. How much pressure exists between a rock and a hard place? Turn diamonds before the face of man. Again Again and and again. again. Patty melodies turning over pages. Chapters written and rewritten in the style of Angie Debo. We grow daily to be visible thanks to Ellis and Savvy scripting. Paving the stage for on-point tall trees. Prima pirouettes. Turning around the backwards perception of a forward-moving state. Yes. Yes, she knows she belongs to a land, and the land she belongs to is Great, 1907, and it landed on all things grand. For me and you, my sister, my sisters on the move. Sing it to the and world. And let it be true. Pushing and stressing, but never digressing. Running and pressing, and pressing, and pressing. And pressing, and pressing. Me, you, she, we are here. Shh. Are you listening? One thing we know for certain, Oklahoma will have its first female governor take the office next January. Republican Congresswoman Mary Fallon and Democratic Lieutenant Governor Jerry Askins are vying for the position of the state's 27th governor. I'm Mary Fallon, and I love Oklahoma. I love this state. That's why I wear it over my heart. I love our conservative values, hard work, faith, caring, I want our children staying here and finding jobs. As your governor, I'll do things the Oklahoma way, because that's the only way I know. Jerry Askins is Oklahoma, heart and soul. And I promise you, no one will work harder for Oklahoma. No one. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. Good morning. Good morning. If you're for Mary Fallon, would you yell real loud? I said, if you're for Mary Fallon, let's hear it! Yay! I'm just proud to be on the train with Mary Fallon. So, ladies and gentlemen, I bring you to Thomas, Oklahoma, the next governor of Oklahoma, Mary Fallon! Are we ready to get Oklahoma moving? Yes! Let's get Oklahoma moving! The job of being governor in Oklahoma at this point is I mean, it's a challenge. This is a difficult time in our state. I mean, uh, it's a difficult time everywhere in our country. The governor's responsibility, even in a state like Oklahoma that's a populous state, where the legislature has a strong role in governance decisions, the governor of the state is the chief elected official, sets the tone, leads the discussion, has to step out in front of all the difficult issues. The governor is the face, the policy face, of the state of Oklahoma. When it's an old boys club and only men are considered fit to run, you lose half the population and you certainly lose more than half of the brain power of the state. I figured out once that if you do what we had been doing in terms of eliminating all females of every race, eliminating men of color, eliminating people according to uh, certain academic degrees and so on, we, we've been choosing our leadership from 6% of the country. I mean, you know, that's outrageous. You know, we need all of our talent. From my experience, and I've experienced at the legislative level, uh, at the municipal level, at the executive level, women change the dialogue when they are in the room. And so how can we have representative government? How can we do that in Oklahoma when women are more than half the population but 11% of the state legislature? There will be a lot written about how do Oklahomans feel about their first woman governor. And over time, as that governor serves, that will lessen and there will be more focus on what are the policies, what are the decisions, how does she handle herself in a collaborative way with the legislature, How does she work with the business sector? What are her views on education? It will be less about her gender and far more about the policies, as it should be. But initially, there will be a lot of interest. Feminism is really about opening both eyes. We've been looking at the country with one eye closed. As the role of women progresses, it won't necessarily be a, a male perspective or a female perspective. It will be like a human perspective and a perspective of like an, Ameri- like an American perspective, not necessarily based on gender. 